Reign of Cards. Hmm. Nigerians, internet explodes. As angry Nigerians finally, angry Nigerian youth finally fires prayer against INEC boss Mahmoudi Yakubo. They say Naim bring this matter when they grant now give them. According to Nigerian youth, he say INEC, led by uh, Professor Mahmoudi Yakubo, gave them what they did not bargain for. They bargained for something else. They were given what they did not bargain for. And for that, for this hardship, when they did so, they said this man will suffer well, well. Even to the extent said they joined his generation. So you can see how frustrated Nigerians are currently. Yes, the situation is really very, very frustrating. Those people who are just talking, ah, me and deal, eh, this and this. They are talking all those ones because... They don't know what these people are going through. We are passing through hell. You understand? Currently, Fue is not being sold for 700 and something naira. 720 naira. In some states, 730. In some states, 720, 730, like that. So you see, a day will still come like this. We will still buy that uh, Fue for 1,000 naira per liter. Nigerians are seeing this like they are being deceived. They always tell us, see, let's let's see, let's let's implement these policies. You know, this this policy will make life better. Now Nigerians always cooperate because they want the good of this country. Just like what Muhammad Buhari did when he was in power. He said, eh, made them block the borders. No more importation of foods. Nigerians say, okay, okay, no wahala. Before he came, rice was being sold for 8,000, you know, 7,000 naira thereabouts. He can't block the borders when he block. Nine rice can't climb up, enter 40,000 like that. Rice can't come from nowhere, 40,000, 50,000 naira. You get. But the worst now is rice is now going to 100,000 naira because of the one this current APC leader can't do. Nigerians are not happy. You go see make people sacrifice. What sacrifice are these leaders making? Now, you told us that uh, the first subsidy, there are some individuals who are defrauding Nigerians. That if the first subsidy is, uh, is removed, Nigerians will not benefit well. At least make we enjoy as uh, a Nigerian being in a, a rich country like this. Nigerians, okay, no problem. Make we try and like that. But what is happening now? Everything don't turn upside down. It's not looking like the rich is not getting richer. Why the ordinary Nigerians are now suffering? My people, this matter don't come up for be careful. As Nigerian continues to grapple with economic woes, insecurity is still there, and corruption as well. Some frustrated youth have resorted to a bizarre from a form of protest, raining curses on the health of the electoral umpire, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo. The youth blame Yakubo for allegedly manipulating the 2023 presidential election in favor of the incumbent president, Bola Metinubu, who has been widely criticized for his poor performance and uh, utterer. Uh, authoritarian tend tendencies. The youth who call themselves the Nigerian Youth National Prayer Group have declared February 25th to 2024 as a day of prayer and curse against Yakubu. They have uh, circulated a poster on social media platforms, especially X, formerly Twitter, urging all Nigerians Red, uh, regardless of their religious or ideological inflations to join them invoking divine wrath on the INEC chairman. The posters read, INEC chairman who sold the election to the highest bidder. He rigged the election that brought Bola Ahmed Tunubu to power. Muslims, Christians, traditionalists, artisans, we cadre swear for INEC chairman. Cross be unto Mahmoud Yakubo. The poster also contain, uh, contains a picture of Yakubu with a red cross over his face and a capture that says, Enemy of Democracy. 
The poster has gone viral on X with thousands of users expressing their support or distray for the prayer group. Hmm. Well, Nigerians, we are free anyway to invent our frustration mm -hmm. anywhere we like them. But there are some times, eh, it gets us to take do something, we go miss her. All this prayer, when it go take, when the the repercussion go come, hmm? because that one I want to. We need, we need change like, na 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 na. We need something to be done, because if we continue like this, my people, it not go easy. Yes, if we continue like this, the way the matter don't day now, it not go easy. Okay, maybe we will hear waiting somebody don't uh, don't don't talk for you. I not go call anybody name. The first person say, "Woe to Mamudi Akubo, who built his house by unrighteousness." And his upper rooms by injustice, who makes his neighbor serve him for nothing and does not give him his wages. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows that he will also reap. Mahmud or Mo Yakubo, you have sworn evil. You and your your own bloodline will reap the evil you have sown. Hmm. May the calamity and hunger you you forced on Nigerians visit your entire family to the tenth generation and remain permanently. Hmm. Mahmoud Yakubo, the annex chairman for the 2023 general election, you will labor in vain. Sickness will take away all your sweat before taking you. Hmm. However, record that not everyone is impressed by the youth actions. Some have dismissed it as a fertile and childish attempt to vent their anger, while others have cautioned them against resorting to violent or hate speech. One of the most, the, one of the most vocal uh, critics of the prayer group is Omoye Lakshawari, a former presidential candidate and activist who has been uh, leading a campaign for a revolution in Nigeria. Shoare, who shared the poster on his ex account, said that cousin Yakubo will not solve the problems on Grando in the country. He urged the youth to channel their energy to resources into organizing a mass movement that would challenge the current conditions and demand a better governance. Nigerians, so how now see this matter? I beg, make we hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.